England's defeat of Pakistan in the first test. England's defeat of Pakistan in the first test will forever be remembered as their most run filled since the Second World War. There is little time and no change of venue for the second test, which begins on Tuesday in Moulton. And, even with four successive wins in this country, and on the verge of a second series win here in as many years, there is plenty for England to chew over. Stokes or no Stokes? England have been without their talismanic captain for four consecutive matches, and there were encouraging signs in Moulton that Ben Stokes is close to returning. Stand and skipper Ali Pope said it was fingers crossed, and Stokes had enjoyed a good week of training. The ideal scenario is Stokes is fully fit to come back and play a full role as an all-rounder. But that seems quite unlikely given how long he has been out, his injury history, and the caution England will want to exercise over the their most prized asset. If Stokes can bowl the amount of overs England require, he will probably come straight in for a seamer, most likely Chris Wokes. If he can't bowl at all, then England have the ticklish decision of whether to drop a batter or bowler. It could be Pope who has to make way. There could be a halfway house where Stokes can bowl some overs, then possibly squeezes more out of his frontline spinners and leans on Joe Root's off breaks. It's a tricky one. If he can bowl a bit, you might bring him in for the second spinner, said former England captain Nasser Hussein on Sky Sports. Pope almost gave things away that Stokes will be fit, but he can't play as one of only three seamers. That is for certain. He has to be one of four seamers, which leaves either a spinner or batter vulnerable. Jack the Lad. Jack Leach catches Shaheen Shah Afridi. Image source. Getty Images. Image caption. Leach has now taken 22 wickets in four tests in Pakistan. England threw their weight behind Shoa Bishir as the number one spinner at the beginning of the home summer. But Leach outbowled his Somerset teammate when he returned for his first test since January. It's simplistic just to look at Leach's seven wickets against Bashir's one as the yardstick of success. The devil is in the detail.